Okay, hi everyone. Thanks very much for joining us here for this pre-match press conference ahead of India versus New Zealand tomorrow. We're joined by Virat Kohli, captain of Team India. Thanks very much for your time, Virat. Um, as you all know, by now we are running this press conference exclusively on Zoom. And if you do have a question, can I please ask you to raise your hand in the platform? I can already see that some people have done that. Just some general housekeeping, please. Can I ask everyone to remain on mute and turn your videos off, please, for the duration? If you are selected to ask a question, please, can you unmute yourself, ask your question, and then mute yourself immediately following? So without further ado, I will now hand over to uh, Molin at Team India, who will select questions. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Callum. Uh, please keep in mind that this is a pre match press conference. We shall only take questions purely on cricketing merit. Vengat Krishna and then uh, Shamik Chakravarti. Vengat, if you can hear us, if not, Shamik Chakravarti. Hi, Virat. Uh, Virat, uh, going by the reaction, especially on social media, it feels like this Indian team is not allowed to lo lose a game. But every time there is pressure, your team has sh shown the capabilities to bounce back. The way people, players like Shami was trolled on social media after the Pakistan game. I mean, how do you, uh, I mean, what is the message like? What, uh, what makes this Indian team so resolute? Be it 36 all out, be it the, be it that innings defeated headingly, be it uh, now this Pakistan, after this Pakistan game, sort of must win match against New Zealand. What makes this team so resolute? Well, there's a there's a good reason why um, we are playing on the field and not some bunch of spineless people on social media that have um, no courage to actually speak to any individual in person. They hide behind identities and go after people um, through social media, uh, making fun of people. And that has become a source of entertainment in, in today's world, which is so unfortunate and so sad to see. Because um, this is literally the lowest level of human potential that one can operate at. And that's how I look at these people. Um, we as individuals understand what we want to do on the field. And the strength of character and mental toughness we have. And precisely why we are doing what we are doing on the field. And none of these people are even in, in the vicinity to, to even imagine doing something like that. They do not have the courage or the spine to do, to do that. Um, so that is how I see things. Um, and all this, all this, um, drama that's created on the outside is, is purely, you know, based on people's frustrations, um, their lack of self-confidence, their, their lack of compassion. Um, and hence they find it so amusing to go after people. So we, um, as a group understand how we need to stick together, how we need to back individuals, how we need to focus on our strengths um, and whether people on the outside portray it um, being the fact that India cannot afford to lose a game, that's none of our business because we play sport and we understand exactly how sport goes. So how people think on the outside has no uh, value whatsoever within our group. Uh, we've never focused on it. We will never focus, focus on it um, going forward either because Look, as I said last time as well, people do not understand what it takes to, to do the job on the field at the international level. And we are not going to go around and, and you know, uh, just, just announcing to everyone uh, what we do and how we do it. We just carry on doing the business that we are supposed to do. And, and uh, if, if a game goes off, you take the learnings from it and move forward. And not one game is more important than the other. Every game of cricket is as important. And uh, so will be the case in the next game as well. Amol Karargar, then Prakash Ji and Kushim Sarkar. Uh, Virat, can you just confirm the fitness status of Hardik and whether uh, the team is tempted to uh, tweak combination a little bit? Uh, Hardik's fine. If you're talking about the blow on the shoulder, he's absolutely fine. Prakash Ji and then Kushan. Uh, uh, Virat, uh, uh, where do you see Shardul fitting into India's combinations? Do you see him as an, an all-round option for Hardik or even as one of the front three fast bowling slots, considering he's bowled across phases in the recent IPL and even picked 16 wickets in the UAE leg? Yeah, he's he's definitely um, you know a guy who's who's in our plans constantly. Um, 
you know making a case for himself and um, he is definitely someone that can bring a lot of value to the team now what role he plays or where he fits in that's something that i cannot obviously talk about right now but yes shardul is someone who's got great potential and he will add great value to the team yeah hi virat uh, my question is uh, uh, how do you assess bhuvi's performance uh, ipl and then the first game against pakistan last one month like what do you make of how he's shaping up and uh, how he's doing see i don't want to single out any individuals i think as a as a bowling group we fail to pick up wickets and we understand that that can happen in 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 the sport it's not it's not a guarantee that every time you take the field you won't be able to pick up wickets these are the same guys who have been doing the job for us for a long period of time so we we understand how things went and where it went wrong um and we totally accept and and know that we got outplayed by the opposition uh, thoroughly and and you need to accept that you need to accept that as as a, a professional cricket team without any without any ego without any um, you know um excuses whatsoever we have given none and we will not give any excuses moving forward, forward either and hence i'm i'm saying that i will not single out individuals we lost as a team and that's that's exactly what we believe in and that exactly was the case uh, in the previous game bye dojo boss then rahul rawat followed by sandeep sarkar yeah hi virat uh, just before you when trent had his pc he said that he's looking to mirror what shahin did uh against you guys the last day so knowing that he's able to get the ball to swing early on and you know as a batting unit how do you see it because obviously obviously in the power play you are looking to score some runs so how does the balance part come in yeah i mean uh we obviously will come up against some quality bowlers all around the world in this competition and hence the intensity and the level at which this competition operates is very very different um so we know that i mean we played against these individuals for a long period of time it's not something out of the ordinary that's going to come our way and it all depends on how we take the field mentally and how we how we counter that if 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 you know trends as he he wants to replicate what he did uh, what shaheen did against us obviously he's he's motivated to do so and we have to be motivated to counter that and try and put pressure on him and the other bowlers as well so that's how basically the game goes anyway um we've played against all these bowlers for a long period of time and we understand exactly what we need to do all all that matters now is when we step onto the field what kind of mental frame we are in uh, if we are absolutely confident of hitting that ball clearly and and not thinking about any other scenarios i think that's key to to batting in high pressure situations and something that we are really looking forward to execute as a team there are high uh is toss becoming two bigger factors because of the due around yeah it will continue to be a, a big factor uh, and that's the nature of this tournament um <clears throat> you can look at the situation in two ways either you can bank too much on the toss or you can you can challenge yourself as a team to say okay if, if even if you lose the toss we are good enough to to bowl or bat in any conditions and that should be the attitude because you don't have time in the in the shortest format of the game to to think too much about what happened at the toss the game goes away from you pretty quickly and two or three overs can change the whole course of the game as we saw last game as well so um for us our our only focus is um how those 11 individuals are placed mentally and um how we are looking to approach this game um it's been a long break for us um uh, you know it's been a lot of time waiting and and just doing nothing really it it for for us as a team um now we are just itching to go back on on the park and and just be competing again and you know look to correct the things that didn't happen uh, well in the first game yeah virat uh, jasprit bumrah has been a tremendous performer for the team over the last few years but do you feel that uh, the team is over dependent on him every time he takes the field uh, the team is uh, looking uh, to him for uh, taking wickets and the second thing is uh, the way mohammad shami was attacked uh, over uh, at, uh, in social media uh, over his religion uh, after the pakistan match as a captain how are you backing him up him up Thank the you. second part has been answered already no i'll, I'll elaborate on that a little bit more look jaspreet obviously is, is is the best uh, all format bowler in the world and precisely why there is so much expectation on him not just from people on the outside but himself as well so he takes a lot of pride in that so we are not at all bothered about how much expectations uh, he takes 
on the outside it doesn't matter honestly uh, all the other bowlers we believe are good enough to pick us wickets and in the last game including jaspreet we were not able to pick up wickets and hence i said that as a unit we did not execute the plans that we wanted to and the opposition also did not allow us to come into the game as a batting unit and as a bowling unit so it's not uh, a given that you know that will happen again and again we are quality cricketers we know what we need to do and when we execute on our day we can beat any team convincingly anywhere in the world and we have shown that time and time and time and again um on the second part as i rightly mentioned before um to me you know attacking someone over their religion is is the most um i would say pathetic thing that that a human being can do um everyone um has the right to voice their opinion and what they feel about a certain situations but um i personally have never ever even thought of you know discriminating anyone um, over their religion and that is a very sacred and a personal thing to every human being and that should be left there um so as i said people take out their frustrations because they they obviously have no understanding of of what we do as individuals they have no understanding of how much effort we put on the field uh they have no understanding of the fact that someone like mohammed shami has won india n number of matches in the last few years and he's been our primary bowler with with um, jaspreet bumrah when it comes to you know making an impact in in games in test cricket you see him run into bowl i mean if if people can overlook that and his passion for the country i honestly i i don't even want to waste you know one minute of my life to to give any attention to those people and neither does shami and neither does anyone else in the team we stand by him fully we are backing him 200% and all those who have attacked him can can come with more force if they want to our our um, brotherhood our our friendship within the team and nothing can be shaken and i can guarantee you that as the captain of the team that we have built a culture where these things will not even infiltrate into this environment 0.0001% and that is a absolute guarantee from my side we shall take two more questions kuntal and then sunandan lele virat bahut sare fans jo hai wo negative baatein kar rahe hain lekin bahut sare positive fans bhi hai unko aisa lagta hai ki sirf teen match hi hum teen badi team ko teen badi team ko harane se world cup jeet sakte to kya aapke man mein bhi ye chal raha hai ki teen badi team ko harane se world cup bhi hum jeet sakte hain नहीं मेरे मेरे हिसाब से आपको अगर वर्ल्ड कप जीतना है तो आप हर मैच जीतने का फोकस रखें um, आप प्रायोरिटाइज नहीं कर सकते आपको किसके अगेंस्ट जीतना और किसके अगेंस्ट आप हल्का खेल सकते हैं ऐसा हम लोग नहीं खेलते हैं कभी हम खेले नहीं है और ना ही आगे खेलेंगे वर्ल्ड कप जैसे टूर्नामेंट को जीतने के लिए उसमें अच्छा करने के लिए आपको उस दिन पे अपना बेस्ट करना है उस मोमेंट में प्रेजेंट रहना है लोग जैसे मैंने बोला क्या बोलते हैं बाहर क्या नहीं बोलते हैं उससे हमें कुछ मतलब नहीं है आई नो बहुत सपोर्टिव फैंस हैं हमारे और मैं उन लोगों को क्रेडिट देना चाहूंगा जो हमारी सिचुएशन को समझते हैं क्योंकि हम लोगों को अभी क्रिकेट खेलनी है और जो लोग जिन लोगों में पेशेंस नहीं होती है वो लोग हमेशा यू नो पैनिक बहुत जल्दी जल्दी करते हैं और उन लोगों को लगता है कि सब सब खत्म हो गया और हम लोग ऐसे नहीं सोचते हैं मीन अगर हम लोग बाहर के लोगों की तरह सोचने लगे तो हम लोग दुनिया की बेस्ट टीम नहीं रहेंगे और एक रीजन है कि हम लोग उस चीज से अपने आप को डिसकनेक्ट करके अपने क्रिकेट पर फोकस कर सकते हैं चाहे हम हारे चाहे हम जीते हैं हमने बार बार कम किया एज ए टीम हमें किसी को प्रूव करने की जरूरत नहीं है नॉट एज इंडिविजुअल्स और नॉट एज ए टीम सो बाहर लोगों को क्या बोलना है देश में क्या माहौल चल रहा है हमारी टीम को लेके हमारे लिए कुछ भी मैटर नहीं करता है मैं आपको बहुत बार ये पहले भी बोल चुका हूँ और आगे भी मैं यही बोलूंगा कि लोग कुछ भी बोले हमें उससे कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता है हमें एग्जैक्टली पता है हम लोगों को क्या करना है इस टूर्नामेंट में आगे जाते हुए और इंडियन क्रिकेट टीम को आगे जाते हुए अगले कुछ सालों में फाइनल क्वेश्चन विराट uh, uh, एक दिन खराब बैट्समैन हो रहे या बॉलर कितना भी बड़ा खिलाड़ी हो सकता है तो अगर बैट्समैन के लिए बैकअप है तो बॉलर पांच ही होना जरूरी है क्या टी ट्वेंटी में uh, क्या छठे बॉलर की जरूरत हो सकती है और उसके लिए बैकअप प्लान होना चाहिए हाँ वो काफी एक जरूरी चीज हो जाती है कि आपको छठा बोलिंग ऑप्शन मिले चाहे वो मेरे थ्रू मिले या हार्दिक के थ्रू मिले जब यू नो उसकी फिटनेस वैसी हो कि वो हमको एक या दो ओवर डाल के दे सके आई थिंक इस चीज को समझना बहुत जरूरी है कि गेम की सिचुएशन भी डिक्टेट करती है कि आप कब उस छठे बॉलर को यूज कर सकते हैं कि नहीं पिछले गेम में वो सिनारियो हमारा क्रिएट ही नहीं हुआ अगर आप पहले बॉलिंग करते तो शायद मैं भी एक दो ओवर डाल सकता था सेकेंड इनिंग्स में जब हमें विकटे नहीं मिली तो उस टाइम पे आपके सिर्फ प्राइमरी बॉलर ही बॉलिंग कर सकते हैं क्योंकि आपको विकेट्स 
रेगुलरली लेने का इंटेंशन है और ऐसा नहीं है कि जो लोग छह या सात बोलिंग ऑप्शन खिलाते हैं वो मैच हारते नहीं है तो इट ऑल बॉइल्स डाउन टू एग्जीक्यूशन हमारी एग्जीक्यूशन ठीक नहीं हुई मैं पहले भी क्रेडिट दिया ऑपोजिशन को और मैं दोबारा बोलूंगा कि यू नो नई बॉल के साथ उनकी बॉलिंग हमें गेम में पीछे धकेला उसके बाद हमको 20-25 एक्स्ट्रा रन नहीं मिल पाए जहां से सेकेंड इनिंग में और प्रेशर क्रिएट होता है शायद ऑल और फॉल्स स्ट्रोक्स देखने को मिलते और बड़े शॉट देखने को मिलते और विकेट टेकिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज आती जब ऐसा ऐसे तरीके का टोटल होता है जहाँ पे आप सिर्फ क्रिकेटिंग शॉर्ट्स मार के खेलते चले जाते हैं पिच थोड़ी इज आउट हो जाती है तो चीजें बहुत खराब लगने लगती हैं उतनी खराब चीजें होती नहीं है तो हमें आई थिंक नॉट जस्ट टीम प्लेयर्स बट कि गेम को समझने वाले लोगों को थोड़ी और पेशेंस रखनी चाहिए बाहर जो बाकी लोग हैं उनसे तो हम कुछ एक्सपेक्ट करते नहीं है और ना हमें एक्सपेक्ट करना है लेकिन जिनको गेम की समझ है उनको ये समझ आनी चाहिए कि गेम जब एक बार मोमेंटम शिफ्ट हो जाता है तो आपके जब प्रीमियर बोलर्स भी कुछ नहीं कर पा रहे हैं तो आपका छठा या सातवा ऑप्शन उतना पोर्टेंट नहीं रह जाता वो विकेट टेकिंग जब सिनारियो क्रिएट होता है उसमें ही आपका जो छठा सातवा बोलर है उसके थ्रू आप एडवांटेज गेन कर सकते हैं थैंक यू थैंक यू कैप्टन थैंक यू